Hello, welcome to my office. In this session, I would like to introduce the magic double clicks in Excel. The first one is just to open the file. We can double click. The file is open. The option one is you just right click your mouse and choose open. You can open the cell. That's the same result. The second one is a double click format printer. Here's a format printer. First, I change the color of here to red, and I want to change the color for E2 and E4 also to red. Normally, we just choose the original cell, click format printer, and click the new one. Here we make a change. You know, we can double click the format printer here, double click. You can do this, do this, do this, do this one, do this one. Till you press ESC. Let's go back. The number three is double click the double direction arrows to auto fit the values of the each columns or each rows. First, let's make example in column D, move the weather, and then I move my mouse between column D and column E, we see double direction arrows. If I double click here, you see, it auto fits the widest of column D. If I move column D weather, column E weather, column F weather, I choose them all, if I move my mouse between column F and column G, I see double direction arrows, double click. You see, all these three columns already out of it. Like if I go back, if I move my mouse between column E and column F, I also double click, they are also out of it. Another example, if we move these columns very narrow, if I double click between A and B, See, it's out of it. When I move row 3, much wider than normal, when I move my mouse between row 3 and row 4, I see double direction arrows and I double click, it's out of it. Number 4 is so double click headers to maximum or go to normal size. When I click the space in the header, you see, it's a normal size. If I double click again, it's go to maximum. I can also click here, you see the results are the same. Also, you can right click to make the choice. Here, you can choose the restore, it's a go to normal size. You can also right click and choose the maximum. It's more convenient than you move your mouse to the right corner to make a choice. Next one is to double click to change the sheet names. Here. This is a data one. If I double click, I change it to sheet one, two, three. If I want to make a change again, change it back, change it to data one. Another choice for changing name is you click here, right click your mouse and choose rename. You can make your change data new. Number six, double click to change the cell content. For example, in cell D3, when I want to make a change to pen, first I double click. When I double click, I went to the cell. If I double click again, choose the, all the content in the cell. Then I can make a change. Pen. Let's go back. Another option is to use the F2 to change the content of a cell. When you choose a cell, then click F2, see you can make a change. Let's move on. Number seven, double click on the border of a cell to move the mouse to the end. First, let me highlight D4. If I want to move my mouse to the end of column D, move my mouse 
to the bottom of the border of cell D4, double click, I move my mouse to the end of column D. Let's go back. If I move my mouse to the right of the border of the cell D4 and double click, then my mouse was moved to the right end of row 4. Okay. And that is the same if I move my mouse to the left border of cell D4, double click, then my mouse was moved to the left end of row 4. If I move my mouse to the top border of cell D4, and double click, can go to the first cell of uh, column D. That's the introduction of this one. Now let me clear the content of column G. I add a formula here, equal units times unit cost, enter. Column G's formula has been created. If I move my mouse to the right bottom corner of G2, you see there is a plus sign. If I double click plus sign, the, all the formula has been auto-filled. This is very convenient. If I enter text in H2, A, A plus, and move my mouse to the right bottom corner of H2, and double click plus sign, it auto fill the text. If it's a formula, it will auto fill the formula. If a text, it will just auto fill the text. That's why is to use double click to choose a formula. Let me click FX and search we look up, which is a go. Here you have two options. One is you double click here, it will choose we look up. And then one is you click OK. Here I will just double click we look up. OK, we got a we look up formula. If you would like to know how to use we look up, I have another video to introduce how to use it. Please go and take a watch. The next one here is to go to the left top corner. There is a space here. If you double click here, it will close the workbook rather than move your mouse to the right top corner to close it. This is another version. Let's give a shot. Double click. Close the workbook. Right now in Excel, normally it has many ribbons on the top. Sometimes we would like to have more space to view the content of the workbook. You just double click any ribbons here. For example, if I double click here, top of the ribbon home, Double click, the option was gone. If I double click again, it's back. If I double click data, double click, the option was gone, and I double click again, it was back. That's when to use a double click to check the details of a pivot table. Now let's click a pivot table, insert pivot table. We choose the item and the total value here. If you would like to see what's the total cost of bender, just double click this content here. You see, this is all the sales about the bender. Go back. If I would like to use all the sales related to pencil, go here, B9, double click. This is all the data. You can just double check all the details. This is the shift plan for Jim, Tom, and Anna. They take turns to take the shift. How do we arrange it? I assume you don't want to do it like this. Choose B2 and B4 and copy them like this. OK, let me introduce my way. We choose B2 and B4. Move our mouse to the right bottom corner of this the chosen area and double click the plus sign here the plan has been planned well let's go back if after each shift they would like to take one day off 
Let's choose one more day here. Choose B2 to B5. Move your mouse to the right bottom corner of B5. You see the plus sign and a double click. You see, that's the result. Let's go back. If after each shift, we would like to have two days off. Let me choose the B2 to B6. Move your mouse to the right bottom corner of B6. Double click. This is the new shift. Let's the double click a shift to edit the content. When you insert a shift here, go to Ribbon, Insert, Illustrations, choose the shapes, choose the triangle. And we want to edit the text. You can right click to choose the edit text to make a change. Also, you can double click to edit. New situation. This is how to edit text for a ship. There's a chart for the data on the left. If I double click sales, I can change the name of the title and double click again, choose the entire content and change it to March sales. If I double click the line here, you can make a change. Change it to solid line, change it to automatic, change the color, and also you make some change to the shadow and edge, 3D format, and something else. If you double click the background, you can change the shadow, change the glow. Also, you can change the lines and transparency, etc. etc. If you double click the left here, you can change which line you would like to show, solid line, grid line. Also, here the shadow, glow, soft edges, and the other parameters. If you click the bottom of the content here, you also can make a related change, such as solid line, automatic, color, transparency, shadow, glow, etc., etc. And lastly, if you click the space of entire chart, you can make a change to the entire chart accordingly. Number 16, use a double click to cancel a split view. Now let's go to view and choose a split. Here, let's give a shot. If you want to cancel this line, I just choose this line and double click, you see? If I want to cancel this one and double click, this is it. If I choose split again, I want to cancel the old split wheel. I choose the center of the split line. You see these are four direction arrows. Just double click, it's all gone. Number 17, double click to see the relationship of formula. G2 has a formula. If I double click, E2 and F2 are related to G2. If and sum in the end, go down, sum here, I choose sum function, add the entire column G, enter, double click G45, you see, all these cells are related to G45. The last one, double click straw bar to adjust it. If I, this is the default location of a straw bar. If I move to very narrow and I want to move it back, double click, it's back here. If I drag it very long and double click, it'll go back to here. That's all for today's session. Don't forget to subscribe to me. Thank you for watching.